647. We do want to get a check of that forecast with Carson Meredith. Oh, it's been a gloomy week, Carson. Yeah. When's the sunshine returning? This weekend. Oh, good. Just okay, in, almost there. Yeah, just in time, Megan, for the weekend. We're going to have more sunshine. But until then, it is going to stay gloomy, and we're going to have some of those storms around, too. Give you another view across the entire Way 31 Skycam network. Actually have some clearing here in Hudsville, but we'll only have those peaks of sunshine today. We're waking up with those temperatures hovering on either side of 70, right at 70, in fact, in Decatur and Gunnersville. Smidge cooler in Muscle Shoals, we're at 69. A little bit warmer in Huntsville, we're at 72 this morning. Another look at the Way 31 Storm Tracker early morning radar network. 99% of North Alabama is dry. This is one of those mornings where only a tiny portion of our coverage area is seeing rain, and that is now in Tennessee. Franklin County, just to the west of Winchester, we've been tracking these light showers, showers that is, for you all morning long. Did have some rain down in Jackson County a little while ago, but that has since faded away. We can't totally rule out maybe one or two showers developing for the rest of the morning, but the better chances will be during the afternoon. It's a 30 to 40% chance later on today. Otherwise, it just stays gloomy. That's cloud cover sticking around just a few peaks of sunshine and that will keep our high temperatures today in the mid 80s. 86 for reference. We have not seen highs in the 90s here in Huntsville in a week. Been quite some time since we had that kind of a stretch below 90. But let's look at your chores outdoors heading through the rest of this week and into the weekend. Thursday today, like we mentioned, pop up storms this afternoon. We'll do it all over again on Friday as well. But by Saturday and Sunday, we start to dry things out. The clouds move out. We'll have plenty of sunshine, but it will still be warm and pretty humid this weekend too. Here's future radar. This is 1230. You see more of those scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms developing. Not everybody is going to see rain today. Day, but if you do, it could be heavy, may have some ponding on the roadway. Just something to keep in mind as you're out and about today. We'll keep those downpours with us through 5 o'clock this evening. Then we start to dry things out once we lose that heat of the day. Waking up Friday morning, it is a quiet start, mix of sun and clouds. And as we go through the afternoon hours tomorrow, well, you guessed it, we'll do it all over again. More of those pop-up storms by 1 o'clock. But for those high school football games tomorrow night by 7 o'clock, we start to dry things out. Can't totally rule out maybe one or two storms causing a lightning delay, but we'll get those games in tomorrow night, no problem. And then late Friday night, look at all those clouds. They're gone. They're moving to our south, and that is setting the stage for not too bad of an August weekend. Still going to be warm. We're back to those more seasonable temperatures, 91 Saturday, 92 Sunday. There is a tiny chance for a downpour each afternoon because it will still be humid, but in general, most of us, if not all of us, are staying dry this weekend. If you're looking for any fall-like temperatures, over the next couple of weeks. Well, I got bad news for you. It's not happening anytime soon, but we are inching closer to fall ever so slightly. Four weeks from today, Thursday, September 22nd, will be the official start of fall. And I don't know about you folks at home, but I cannot wait for fall. Until then, though, seven day forecast shows those scatter storms around today and tomorrow. Mostly dry this weekend, but warm. And then we see those pesky summertime storms make a comeback by Monday. Megan? I am